guys, it's me, Susan S. again, here with Samantha again. I try to wake up Maxine this time so that she could be in the movie, but Maxine was taking a nap, and when I tried to wake her up, she got angry with me and flicked me off, so I didn't want to bug her. So Max, Sam, Samantha is much more docile, so I just woke her up, and she's like fine with everything. She says, want me, want me to wake up, be with you? That's fine. She'll rub my head if my head needs rubbing and relaxing. She'll rub the back of my neck if the back of my neck is hurting. She's been doing it since she was a real little baby about that big. So she knows exactly what to do, and she's a real sweetie. And she's just one of my little creative ways that I use of coping. She helps me feel better physically when I'm hurting, and emotionally when I'm hurting. She's very calming to me. Um, Maxine also does a similar job, but she's not as docile as Samantha is. Samantha has been doing this since she was a little bitty baby, so she's much more of a therapeutic animal than the other snake is that we have. Um, she's one of my main ways that I use to cope when things are really, really difficult. Um, now, of course, I follow my family a lot, um, but that's sort of like a, a basic that if, God willing, you have one of those, families that you can lean on, that you do, um, and uh, snakes is one of those creative things that you stumble upon. Everybody should always be keeping their eyes and ears and creative minds open to come up with ways that work for them. Um, just because it works for me doesn't mean it's going to work for you. Um, a lot of people find that painting helps them. Painting never did much for me, but it works for many, many other people. Um, another thing that works for me a lot is my cycling. Um, I've, I've written a lot about my cycling. I've spoken a lot about it, and I have tons of photos of my recumbent, recumbent tricycling on the website. Um, you could see a lot of those. And uh, now, unfortunately, it's affected by my physical condition. Like right now, I'm limited in how much cycling I'm do I can do because I'm having some physical problems. Um, but I always adapt it. Um, right now we're talking about adapting the bike a little bit differently to accommodate for my physical limitation that I'm dealing with right now. It's a matter of keeping an open mind um, and being creative. Um, I'm really interested in hearing what types of coping mechanisms other people have. Um, uh, what, you know, what do you do to help your mind, help your body, help your spirit and soul, help yourself cope with your chronic illness? Whether it's pain, whether it's stress, whatever part of the chronic illness that you need coping with, what do you do to cope with it? So please send me your comments and let's share them with each other. Look forward to hearing from you. Bye. Say bye, Sammy. Samantha, say bye. Sammy, it's that way. It's that way. It's that way. Turn your head that way. Turn your head that way. Say bye. She says that. Bye.